Hello guys, welcome to Deep Codes and in today's video we will discuss Red Code question 1345 that says jump game 4. So here in this video I will discuss multiple approaches to solve this question. I will discuss some of the flaws that are present in one or two approaches and I will tell you why one specific approach can solve this question efficiently. So yeah, make sure you watch this video till the end so that all your doubts get cleared. So in this question you are given one array of integers and you are initially positioned at first index. So yeah, your initial position is this and your goal is to reach to the last index in minimum number of steps. So return the minimum and we need to return the minimum number of steps to reach the last index. Okay. Now for each index, you have three uh, conditions or uh, it's not conditions. You have three options to choose. So the first option is either you move towards the right neighbor that is I plus one index or you move towards the left, left neighbor that is I minus one index or you select any uh, index j where the value of array of j is equal to the value of current index. Okay, got it. So you, here we have three choices from each of the indexes. So if you take a uh, look at this example, so uh, I let me explain you here. So yeah, this is uh, your initial index. This is initial. And this is your goal. Okay, goal. Now you have three choices. As I told you, you can either move to i plus one that is a neighbor on the right either you can move to i minus one that is the neighbor on the left or you can take a, a j whose array of i equals to array of j you can select some index j whose value is same as the current index okay now let's say you are you are from here you move towards the right up to this point minus 23 so from minus 23 you move towards this minus 23 then you move towards the 404 and you move to here so in this case uh, at, uh, by taking four steps, you move towards the uh, the goal. Okay. Now, is there any better approach to solve this? So let's try to take a thing of another approach. See, from this hundred, you can also go to this hundred, right? As the uh, add of i equal equals to add of j, both the hundred values are same. So you can go here. From this hundred, you can go move towards its left. That is four zero four, right? We can move towards the left, left neighbor. And from this four zero four, what we can go? We can go to this last four zero four right because the values is same so in this uh, way you can uh, reach the gold state or the gold index in three steps right so this better efficient more efficient approach correct so yeah this is how by taking or by traversing in different approaches we will find our answer okay so yeah if you move from 0 to index 4 then uh, take a step back and move to the left index of the 4 that is index 3 and then you directly jump to index 9 from this 404 to last one 404 okay so this is how in three steps you can reach to the goals index now in the second example the uh, first index and the last index is the one in the same so you don't have to make any jumps in the third example the first index value and the last index value is same so according to our third uh, type of approach that is when the values are same then we can directly jump so yeah we directly make a jump from the zeroth index to this last index and yeah we reach the destination index in one jump so we return one as our answer so uh, one thing uh, that i would like to talk about is let's say you are here and you want to jump to this hundred okay let's say it means hundred at index i you want to jump to another hundred at index j or 400 at some index uh, i you want to uh, not 400 404 you want to jump to any other 404 at index j so for that if you want to make such jumps you need uh, to know the value of the next index so you need to something like hash map where you will store the indices at which this number is present so you will store indices like uh, so if let me give the num give number 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so what you will have to store for 100 you will have to store like 0 and for for 404 you have to store something like 3 and 9 so that when you are at i th, where i equal to 3 and you have to check whether 40 is 4 is present towards uh, the right in any places then yeah you can check that yeah so if you have something like hash map and you have stored this value and indexes then you will directly jump you will directly jump for this third third condition or third type of jump you can make simple as it is so yeah we will use hash map to store this thing this is simple now talking about approach to solve this complete question is see since you have choices like either to go towards the right or left or make some jump like this then based on this uh, uh, choices you can make a choice diagram and based on the choice diagram you can write a recursive code 
correct simple as it is so basically whenever you have choices you can write a recursive code but will recursive code an efficient solution and uh, will it be efficient solution so to answer that question let's look at the error length so here the error length is 5 into 10 to the power 4 and the recursive solution will be of big of n square if you optimize it then also the maximum opt optimize uh, time complexity you can achieve here is big of n square so that is higher than uh, uh, 10 to the power 9 because n is what 5 into 10 to the power 4 so n square is greater than 10 to the power 9 so it will definitely give you tle that is time limit exceeded so if you write recursive solution or recursive plus memorization solution or if you try to do dfs approach then also all this will give you time limit exceeded okay uh, and also to just show you let me also show you the recursive code how we can uh, write recursive solution for this so initially i took one visited item to mark the node as visited then i store all the uh, indices for the values in, in the map hash map as i have told you it is uh, keys are of int and values are a factor of int because a number can be repeated multiple indices so we have to store all the indices so i took vector of int and here yeah, i call this recursive function so in this recursive function these are some of the base condition that if if it is out of bound or if the array uh, means the node is visited or if it is the end node then return zero and in the else we are returning maximum value some maximum value okay now we took uh, we are taking uh, uh, three steps like means one step towards the right neighbor one step towards the left neighbor and one to another uh, j whose value is same right so for this we are traversing with the help of map this map okay and yeah we here we made we mark visit of start as true that means we are marking the node the current node is visited but we have again have to mark it as false because because we need efficient solution we need minimum number of steps so let's say in a first uh, recursive trial you got uh, something like uh, <coughs> you reach the destination but in more steps so in order to find the minimum number of steps you have to un unmark it again and do backtrack so this is a backtracking step where we unmark it so like uh, so if you don't um, unmark it and try to run the solution then yeah, you will get uh, wrong answer see here this is because it yeah we reach to the goal state from the starting state we reach to the goal state but in four step now if you want to find efficient solution then you we need to backtrack and that's why we have to unmark this again so if you unmark this then yeah the code will work but at the end you will get time limit exceeded see code will work if you do a backtrack but uh, at the end as you can see that it will give time limit exceeded correct simple as it is so yeah we need to find some better approach to this okay see uh, the from for each for each current state there are some different states possible that is the rightmost right, that is the right neighbor left neighbor and some j so based on this state can we draw something like this uh, tree see initially we are at here from this uh, node we can traverse either to this right this index or to this index correct so for this we can traverse to either its left or to right so yeah as you can see that we have uh, this state diagram uh, or you can say a tree type structure you can take uh, because we have some some starting node the starting node is fixed so we can take this as a root okay and we can try to generate different states possible simple as it is now uh, to find the to find the shortest path in a tree what is the best approach best approach is breadth first search shortest path algorithm is uh, by doing breadth first search okay this is simple as it is so if you have no shortest path in a tree from a from a source node to a destination node we can uh, do that using bfs simple as it is so our our source part is this destination pa, destination node is this and we have just we just need to traverse so yeah initially uh, in bfs as we know that we use q data structure q so <coughs> initially our q will store this this is initial position now in one jump one jump after by making one jump we have these two choices so we will store these two nodes in our q right now in the second jump we can either move to this this or this so we will all store all this while taking second jump now in the third jump we will store all these three possible state now as you can see when we took the third jump and uh, reach here so we this is the goal state as you can see so whenever we find our goal state we will simply stop and we won't the towers ahead so that is the beauty beauty of breadth first search approach 
that uh, at each we are traveling level by level and whenever we find our goal node we stop see if you would be doing dfs then you might have reached up till here then here then here so in dfs that there it might be possible that you traverse all unnecessary nodes but in b that is in depth for search but in breadth for search you only traverse the nodes that are necessary and yeah you will get best possible answer in minimum number of iteration and that's why we will choose bfs here breadth for search so this is what this is simply level order traverse that i have shown now the coding for this question is pretty much simple it is so here we took this as a base condition if there are less than one element less than equal to one uh, element in this area then we simply return zero no jumps has to be taken then we took this another map of int and vector of int to store all the indices this is what we did and then we took uh, q and on step variable so we initially push this uh, zero that is the index zero so here in this queue we are pushing the index okay we will push the index so we push the index uh, the starting index or the index zero into this queue and we mark it as visited now at each time we are doing level order traversal so we will traverse all the nodes that are that can be traversed at a, at a current level see this is why see so let's say we are at level one so here at at this point we have two index that is one and index four so from this we can travel to index three two three and five so that's why uh, we are doing this like we are taking all the current elements from the size that is through the size of the queue and we are making level order traversal for each of this we are traversing all the possible neighboring elements okay from the current index or the current node so this is the base condition that if we reach to the end or the destination goal we will simply return the steps and, and yeah this is the first choice that we have that is either moving towards the right right neighbor and we push it to the queue left neighbor push it to the queue if it is not visited yeah we all also do need to check this and this is the case where uh, we are trying to find another uh, node with the same value okay and we try to push that to the queue and one thing to note here is uh, we are making the clear so let's say here in this case uh, for 100 we had uh, we have towers to all the different hundreds right we have stored we will store all this uh, all the other index of 100 also in this queue so then then there is no need okay because all the 100 let's say for the value 100 all the indices where the 100 is present we have already stored in the queue so then there is no need so just to reduce the number of iteration or number of calls we are simply making it clear okay and at the end uh, after this complete uh, level order traversal what we are doing we are simply incrementing the steps and if it is not possible to reach we will simply return minus one so coding part here is simple if you have understood the logic it is simple bfs approach I'm not talking about the time and space complexity the time complexity here would be big o of n and the space complexity is also between big o of n and the space complexity is also big o of n since we are using this q as well as map here so yeah, this is the time and space complexity for this approach. So yeah, that's all for this video. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.